There's something about fly fishing that captures us, and it isn't just the catching of fish. To be a rod maker, you start out being a fly fisherman, which is kind of a pathway drug, because then suddenly you want to tie your own flies. Well, if that's not enough, the path leads to making your own fly rod. <laughs> and if you're not careful, uh, a hobby turns into a lifestyle, and that's what happened to me. People ask, why do you make bamboo rods? I'm not sure that I've ever been able to, to answer that, except that to say that it just was um, something I couldn't resist doing. You can ask a musician why he plays music. He loves doing it. Not for money, although many musicians have gotten wealthy, but that wasn't their motive. They just love what they do. And it's a rare and special gift, I think, and a piece of good fortune for people who have the opportunity to do what they love and love what they do. It's a rare thing. It's a form of wealth, not financial wealth, but to me it's a form of wealth in itself. I remember once John Coltrane, the renowned, respected, famous, innovative saxophone player, he went to India. And when he came back, he had a new vision. He said that in India, the musician regards himself as having an obligation to play music. If you can, you must. He learned that music was sacred. He had never thought of it that way before. But aha, now I see what they're trying to put in my hands here. There's, there's a difference between a good and a bad rod. I don't care if it's bamboo or carbon fiber. You can have two violins, one sounds wonderful and the other does not. So the engineering and the input of the craftsman has a lot to do with it. It's something you do for a special reason and if that didn't exist in your heart, you wouldn't have done it in the first place. The concept of making something into a treasure that began so simply is just a contrast that just I find to be enchanting, interesting, remarkable. It's almost like the wood deserved it or the bamboo deserved it. Maybe we're just giving it something it's owed in the first place. It has a feeling if you enjoy casting, there's nothing like a bamboo rod. And I feel that the joy of casting is a big part of the joy of fly fishing.